Hello everyone, this is Jay Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to see a problem from method of undetermined questions. So let's get going. Problem solve y double dash plus 3 y dash plus 2y equal to 12 e power x. So we are given a differential equation and asked to find the solution using method of undetermined questions. Okay, given differential equation y double dash plus 3 y dash plus 2y equal to 12 e power x. Consider it as equation number 1. And we can write this equation as d square y plus 3 dy plus 2y equal to 12 e power x. Now take y common from all the terms of LHS. We'll get d square plus 3d plus 2 into y equal to 12 e power x, right? Which is an operator form, say f of d into y equal to some q of x. where f of d equal to d square plus 3d plus 2 and q of x equal to 12 e power x. We'll find the general solution to this equation using y equal to yc plus yp. We'll find yc using auxiliary equation and we'll find yp by a trial method. Okay. Uh, we'll choose a yp such that it satisfies the given differential equation. We can see that later. Now coming to the auxiliary equation, it's e. The auxiliary equation is f of m equal to 0 where f of m equal to, we have f of d, d square plus 3d plus 2, right? Let's replace this differential operator d by m, so that we get f of m equal to m square plus 3m plus 2. Then the auxiliary equation becomes m square plus 3m plus 2 equal to 0. Now we need to find roots to this equation. Let's spread the 3m as 2m plus m. Now take m common from the first two terms. The next two terms remains the same. Now we equate each factor to 0. From m plus 2 equal to 0, we'll get m equal to minus 2. From m plus 1 equal to 0, we'll get m equal to minus 1. Right? Then the roots are m equal to minus 2 minus 1. Therefore, y c equal to c1 e power minus 2x plus c2 e power minus x. See, the roots are real and distinct. You know that when two roots say m1 and m2 are real and distinct, then yc looks like one constant into e power one root into x plus another constant into e power another root into x, right? Using this, we got our yc, which is a complementary function. Now we'll find yp. Observe q of x and the terms of yc. See, q of x has 12 e power x just with irrespective of quotient or constants, okay? In q of x, you are having e power x and here you are having e power minus 2x and e power minus x. So we can say that q of x has no common term with yc, right? Therefore, q of x has no common term with yc. Therefore, yp must contain the linear combination of Q of x and all its linearly independent derivatives.
now coming to yp now let's see our rough work we have q of x equal to 12 e power x and as i said you yp should contain q of x and all its linearly independent derivatives right we have 12 e power x and yp should contain this 12 e power x and its derivatives derivative of 12 e power x is again 12 e power x right now we'll write q of x and its derivatives into we can just express q of x and its derivatives in a finite family okay see here you having 12 e power x 12 e power x finally and derivative of 12 e power x is again a 12 e power x right it gets repeated that is if q of x is 12 e power x then in all its derivatives or linearly independent derivatives will be 12 e power x it just continues right we'll just get only 12 e power x so the family set contains only e power x here then yp will be already q of x is 12 e power x and its derivatives is also 12 e power x so we'll just pick one term that is e power x so yp will be e power x into an undetermined coefficient to it say a or if q of x equal to k into e power x then yp will be some constant say a not into e power x simply this is the formula okay fine now we have chosen a yp which satisfies the given differential equation right in the given differential equation we are having y double dash and y dash also so you will find yp double dash i mean yp dash and yp double dash okay fine see so if you notice yp and yc have no common term also right yc and yp has no common term and this is a formula the general formula when q of x is of the form k into e power x we'll just take one undetermined coefficient into e power x for yp right now coming to yp let yp equal to a e power x yp dash equal to derivative of a e power x is again a e power x yp dash derivative of yp dash is a e power x we have choose yp such that it satisfies the given differential equation so we can write the given differential equation as yp double dash plus 3 yp dash plus 2 yp equal to 12 e power x right now substitute the value of yp dash okay yp double dash yp dash and yp here ab a e power x plus 3 into a e power x plus 2 into a e power x equal to 12 e power x which gives us a e power x plus 3 a e power x plus 2 a e power x equal to 12 e power x which gives us a e power x plus 3 a e power x plus 2 a e power x is 1 plus 3 plus 2 6 a e power x equal to 12 e power x so we can just find a from this we'll get 6a equal to 12 then a equal to 12 by 6 which gives us 2 therefore a equal to 2 then yp becomes since yp equal to a e power x now put the value of a since a equal to 2 so yp becomes 2 e power x therefore yp equal to 2 e power x okay we can also verify the answer using yp equal to 1 by f of d into q of x we got yc and yp let's now find the general solution therefore the general solution to our problem is given by 
y equal to yc plus yp then y equal to yc c1 e power minus 2x plus c2 e power minus x and yp is 2 e power x which is a required solution therefore y equal to c1 e power minus 2x plus c2 e power minus x plus 2 e power x is the required solution let's now verify our yp verification yp equal to 1 by f of d into q of x where f of d is d square plus 3d plus 2 into q of x is 12 e power x we can just write it as 12 into 1 by d square plus 3d plus 2 into e power x for d equal to 1 you'll get 1 plus 3 plus 2 yeah which is non-zero so let's put or replace d by 1 we'll get 12 into 1 by 1 square 1 plus 3 into 1 plus 2 into e power x which gives us 12 into 1 by 1 plus 3 4 plus 2 6 e power x which gives us 2 e power x so our yp is correct well we have seen a problem from method of undetermined equations in this video i hope you will understand we'll see you in the next video and bye bye